Let's do some exercises given on page number 22, 23 and 24. The first one is word meaning. Let's read the word meanings. Twin. Twin means looking similar. Trimmed means cutting away the unwanted parts. Littering means throwing rubbish. Ignored means not listening to someone. Not listening to someone. Third means a heavy sound by falling object. Sprained means hurting of the body part or joint. Surroundings means area around us. Once again, ma'am has made it little short. Okay. Twin means looking similar. Trimmed means cutting away the unwanted parts. Littering means throwing rubbish. Ignored means not listening to someone. Third means a heavy sound made by falling object. Sprained means hurting of the body part or joint. Surrounding means area around us. Next, choose from the words given below and write three qualities of Aman and three qualities of Alia. These are the qualities. Some are good, some are not good. Let's read and write. Naughty. Naughty is a bad quality. We will write for Aman. Active is a good quality. We will write for Alia. Dirty is bad quality. We will write for Aman. Disciplined is a good quality. We will write for Alia. Lazy is a bad quality. We will write for Aman. Tidy is a good quality. We will write for Alia. Let's see the next exercise. Fill in the blanks with the correct words. I wake up early or late in the morning. Early. I wake up early in the morning. I brush my teeth sometimes or every day. I brush my teeth every day. I wear clean uniform to school or dirty uniform to school. I wear clean uniform to school. I throw banana peels in the desk or in the dustbin. I throw banana peels in the dustbin. I keep my nails trimmed or long. I keep my nails trimmed. Write yes or no. Aman is a lazy boy so he gets up late in the morning. Yes, yes. You will write here yes. Aman was playing with Alia in the classroom? No, Aman was not playing with Alia in the classroom. He was playing with his friends. The boys littered the classroom floor with napkins, wrappers and foil balls? Yes. When Alia scolded Aman, he stopped playing with his friends? No, he did not stop playing his, with his friends. He ignored Alia. Aman slipped on the banana peel and sprained his ankle? Yes. Now in this exercise children, we, you have to answer in yes. If the answer is yes, you will color the star with red color. And if the answer is no, you will color the star with blue color. I polish my shoes every day? Yes. Red color. During lunch break, I play in my classroom. No. Blue color. When I return from school, I throw my bag, bottle and shoes in my room and run to play. No. If you do, then you will write yes. Okay. I am saying no and I will color it with blue. Sorry, with red. When I return from school, I throw my bag, bottle and shoes in my room and run to play. I don't do this. So, I will color it with blue. Sorry. 
when my friends fall down i laugh at them no so i will color it with blue i listen to what my friends and family say yes now i will color it with red tick the picture which show ways in which people dirty their surroundings now this is this boy is throwing rubbish out of the window bus this is this he is making the place or his surroundings dirty so we will put or tick on it and this is the right way of putting the garbage in the dustbin so here take the picture which shows ways in which people dirty their surroundings in this way people dirty their surroundings not in this way this is the correct way of putting the rubbish or garbage in the dustbin so this is the way people dirty their surroundings next page this person is taking bath in the pond and this person is throwing or spitting on the wall so both are making their surroundings dirty this boy this man is also making the surroundings dirty and this man also so both are doing bad thing so both are making the surroundings dirty so we will take on both this boy is writing on the wall and this women is throwing garbage out of the balcony both are making their surroundings untidy dirty so we will put tick on both okay now what is the moral of the story the moral of the lesson is keep yourself and your surroundings clean Mor moral of the lesson is keep yourself and your surroundings clean learn this less moral okay and learn the spellings also so children we have done this text exercises i will send the click to you and complete it in your book okay bye